Hey, hey, y'all, what is up? Welcome to another edition of the Wade Fishing Experience. I'm your host, Matt Stevens, and this week we are in Cedar Key, Florida. Uh, Cedar Key is a spot that is uh, one of my wife and I's favorite destinations in Florida. Preferred method of travel here is the golf cart, as you can see uh, as I cruise down the main drag here. So we're going to head to the cemetery park and do some wade fishing. The cemetery park has been productive for me in the past. Uh, caught some trout, some flounder, some sharks there. And um, I've never waded it though. So I'm really curious to see if it can be productive today because it's super cold, right? We just had a cold front um, a couple days ago, and when I mean cold, I'm used to Tampa Bay, and it's and it's um it's probably 10 to 15 degrees cooler up here in Cedar Key, about two and a half hours north of Tampa. Um, the water's <laughs> pretty cold. I, I I have not looked at the water temperature. I think it's in the 50s. So I'm like uh, Ralphie from the Christmas Story right now. I'm I'm all bundled up and um, gonna gonna go hit the water and, uh, and see what happens. Um, something to note that's interesting about Cedar Key that's a little different from Tampa is just the size of the tides that we get here. Um, yeah, so there's like a three foot tide today and um, we're just starting the incoming tide. I think low tide was around uh, was around 12, 12.30 this afternoon and um, it's about 1.30. So we should have a good incoming tide the winds, uh, the winds calmed down today. It, it was blowing hard yesterday, but it's only about uh, five to 10 out of the south. Um, but we are gonna fish a, a wind protected area regardless because man, it, it, if you get in that wind and out of the sun, it gets cold quick and um, your hands start to freeze up and turn into the claw. But uh, I'll check back in when I get to the park and get, get geared up to um, get in the water, y'all. All right, y'all, so here we are at uh, the cemetery park. I know it seems a bit odd to be um, fishing in a cemetery, but um, this is very common practice here. So uh, we'll take a cruise through here and I'll show you guys a little bit of the cemetery. channel so we'll see y'all here what do you think y'all this looks like a good red fish spot for warm water look at all these oyster bars look at this everywhere you look spoil islands and oyster bars yeah this is crazy this is great terrain for redfish I've been seeing some boils I just I don't know if they're reds or mullet and it's probably mullet I've had zero bites
I love taking a golf cart to go fishing. I'm here at the uh, Museum State Park in Cedar Key. Um, yeah, I'm not, uh, not familiar with this spot in terms of fishing it. Been to the museum, which is cool. You got to check it out if you're ever in Cedar Key. Um, but there's a trail that leads back to the water here. And uh, we've been striking out every spot here. I just talked to a guy who said they took a charter two days ago and didn't catch shit. Um, just small trout. Uh, I mean, I think the fishing's just tough for everybody right now. So I don't have high hopes for this spot, but you know, you gotta you gotta be fishing to catch them. So let's we'll see what happens. Yeah, fishing these salt marshes, man, it's just, it's just completely different than the one I'm used to. It's hilarious. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. Oh, this is cool. This is super cool. Nice firm bottom. Good morning, y'all. I am here at the Cedar Key Railroad Tra Trestle Nature Trail say that five times fast and um, this is a cool spot I'm about to check out for the first time um, I'm at the trailhead here it's about a five to ten minute walk back to um, the end of the old railroad trestle where the remnants of that trestle are some nice structure some deep water hoping to find some snook reds trout basically just anything to get a tug it's been a tough week here in Cedar Key with the weather uh, we're going home tomorrow, and um, yeah, it'd be nice to be nice to get a tug on the on the line this morning. So uh, I'll check back in when I get out to the end of the uh, end of the trail. But this will pretty much put a put a cap on the Cedar Key trip for February. Um, it was a great time, y'all. We learned a lot. This wasn't really a fishing trip. Like this was a vacation with my wife and our friends, and um, you know, so I just fished when I had time, and the <laughs> the conditions were ridiculous. All right, y'all. That is a wrap. Put a bow on it. This trip to Cedar Key is done I cannot wait to come back in warmer weather when I say we are gonna crush the redfish we are gonna destroy the redfish uh, just got back from another trip and struck out but scouted another area on the backside of Cemetery Park that is just filled with oyster bars and spoil islands and so really excited to fish that when the 
weather is warmer. It's Matt Stevens signing off for another episode of the Wade Fishing Experience. Cheers, y'all.